Guess what? I'm back. It's barely been like. <coughs> Holy crap! This is gonna be rough. It's barely been like a week since you guys have heard from me, and um, reason being, I was busy, and then I went to work for a day, and then I came home because I was like, hey, I don't feel so good, and then I laid in bed, and I I am not even exaggerating. I'm not even exaggerating when I tell you that I didn't get out of bed um, for about three days straight other than to, you know, take a shower every now and then and also take a pee because those are essential things. And today I found out that it's not just any kind of sickness. I have the Rona. Yay. <laughs> Yay. I got coronavirus and I've evaded it for two years, give or take. Has it only been two years? Yes. I've evaded it for two years, but it finally got to me, and uh, now I am I'm out with COVID. So I've only had it about three days. Like I said, I've been in bed the past three days. The only reason I'm, I'm here talking to you is because I'm all hopped up on ibuprofen so that I can feel something or not feel something. I guess that's the point of ibuprofen. Um, yeah, but anyways, I've just kind of been watching random YouTube videos all day in bed and I was like hey why don't I make my own YouTube video because then I got to my old videos and I became nostalgic and I was like wow I miss making videos and then I remembered that I was gonna make <sighs> I remember I was gonna dye my hair when we get to 500 subscribers which we're about 55 give or take away from so if I keep grinding to that then we can get that done sooner and then I can you know move on with my life past the orange hair point I sound like crap that's because I feel like crap but it's okay because I have my my plush Pikachu with me here. Pikachu's gonna keep me safe. Pikachu's gonna help me feel better. Uh, where did I get plush Pikachu? That'd be from my beautiful, wonderful, amazing, mystical, magical unicorn of a girlfriend. She's the best thing that's ever happened to me after my salvation in Christ. And she got me a plush Pikachu as well as some Legos that you guys actually can't see right now they're on my dresser but she got me some legos and they're they're great so she's a keeper for sure also this that's not from her i just have it so today we're going to be looking at scary videos as you can probably see um i've been watching these basically all day i was going to go to reddit but i was like you know what i'm too lazy to sit here and edit for hours on end after the fact so i'm going to be lazy and just watch somebody else's youtube video and do that sort of reaction thing. So that's what we're doing today. So I'm gonna filter these by <clears throat> top 10 scary videos no one was supposed to see. All right, I guess we'll just watch this one. Oh, it's not a phase, mom. Well, this seems jolly. <laughs> we we're not meant to watch these top 10 videos because these are the scary videos it's no the guy. one was supposed to see. Number 10, Haunted Hospice. I can't believe I found him. Straight jacket. Wouldn't you go crazy? Published by Facts and Mysteries in September of 2021. Alan Oliver and his team enter a haunted hospice and find a patient in this. <laughs> creepy patient is first seen sitting on the floor near an open doorway, rocking back and forth. His back bandages are covered in red. As they continue to watch, I promise I'm not laughing at the the content. I'm just laughing that we found this dude. Chills. We found the Burger King foot lettuce guy on the first try, and I wasn't even looking for him. Number ten. <coughs> okay, I'm sorry. As the cameraman approaches the patient, something is thrown at him. <laughs> Though the patient doesn't even turn around, this causes the cameraman to flee, and a moment later he captures this on camera. Hmm. Wackus bongus. What am I looking at? It's uncertain what this thing is. Oh, it looks like thanks a for answering. His face is covered in red. The figure has sharp devil like ears and is captured peering out from behind a doorway for a moment. He probably had some Burger King foot lettuce, and that's what turned him into the way he is. I think it's Decided just a guy. This causes our cameraman to get sick. He is doubled over, coughing uncontrollably. <laughs> oh, he probably got the Rona. It's not clear if he is sick from this demon's appearance, yeah, he probably got the or Rona. maybe the demon sent him some sort of curse. What kind? 
We don't know, but we could probably guess. All we know is this was something no one was supposed to see. Number nine. See. Bedroom guys. <laughs> Just let this poor oh, man sleep. Who sleeps like captured that? Captured by really haunted in February of 2021. This poltergeist isn't playing any games. It means business. The scary video shows a brutal hey, encounter yo. with an angry poltergeist that left this man marked up on both his back and arm. The homeowner is in bed when he hears something banging in the hallway. Okay, that would actually scare the crap out of me if I woke up to that. When he opens the door, he has catapulted back into the room where he lands on the office chair and computer desk. Something pushed him and hard as he's recovering from his shock. The banging continues in the hallway. He manages to shut the door and then something starts rattling against it as well. Man, that's enough to make a grown man go. Okay, I don't like that. That's really haunted, weird. right? I spent the rest of the night behind the door trying to stop it coming into the room. Right after I am pushed, there is what sounds like a creepy laugh. No. I didn't hear I'm it. I'm not sure if that noise comes from me or the ghost. I'm guessing the ghost. After all, this isn't the first time this poltergeist has made an appearance. Hey, it's yo. certainly the most aggressive so far. <laughs> Number eight. Hotel. Why does this dude sound so weird? So far. Man, this makes me want to play Phasmophobia with the boys. <laughs> Maybe they'll be up for that later tonight. I'll have to ask them. They usually are. Ghost, we've all seen the scary movie Hostel, but that's a fear of the living. The following is a whole other fear to have to contend with. The CCTV footage has something more in store than <coughs> orbs and dust. Mm. Recorded in October of 2014 at a hostel, the footage shows a girl leaving the bathroom and washing her hands and face at the sink in the hallway. As she retreats from the sink heading toward her room, a small shadowy figure leaps at her and she stumbles forward. <laughs> She turns around to look for the pushy perpetrator behind her, but finding nothing continues on. In slowing the video down, it you just, might take note that there is nothing on the ground to... It just looks like if anybody who's ever worked in film or has done any sort of, like, keying out of a green screen, it just looks like somebody <coughs> did really crappy green screen work. I know what this looks like because I do really crappy green screen work and I have done it. I could probably do better if I had decent equipment, um, but decent lighting, let me say. Uh, but it looks like that and it's just because it gets a little bit blurry and fuzzy around the edges. So that's just what that looks like to me. But who knows what it is, man. It's probably ghost. It's probably ghost if we don't know what it is. Stumble over. You can also see the shadow figure clearly in the video. It propels forward, pushing the woman to trip on her own two feet. Is this hostel haunted by an aggressive ghost? And why is this creepy ghost so catty? Number seven. <laughs> Excuse me. And why is this creepy ghost so catty? <laughs> <coughs> and why is this creepy ghost so catty? Bedroom encounter. This scary video shows someone in bed, clearly terrified about what we don't know yet, but we're about to. Found on the channel Faxels in September of 2021. This clip has been trending in the Hindi-speaking YouTube community. The mm. man keeps his camera aimed steadily at the bedroom door. Soon the door bursts open on its own with no one oh, standing cool. behind it. He used the force. <laughs> Dude, that's mega creepy. As the man pulls his covers aside and fearfully gets out of bed, he turns to the other side. Whoa. <laughs> Only to find this creepy creature. Creepy creature that kind of has a nice ring to it. But that really, that got me because I was not expecting that. I was just thinking, oh, this is just like phasmophobia. Wow, that's just like phasmophobia. Wow. 
Yeah, that that actually made me jump a little bit. I'm not gonna lie. To Receding you. from the corner, <clears throat> the man springs from the room and races away. But the creature, with its pitch black hair like appendages and its two beady glowing eyes, remain on the back of our eyelids. Is this just a nightmare caught on camera? Well, actually, I have tracked it to the YouTube channel of one Danny Donahue, who is a horror director. So while the original may just be fictional nightmare fuel, it's done its job. It's fueling our nightmares number six i can't take this guy seriously but um yeah that makes sense that that was fake because none of this is real but well we don't know that but i don't know <coughs> <clears throat> Sometimes you've just got to see to believe. Published by Swan Link in August of 2021, just she writes spider. that she installed home security cameras and was alerted to this outside her home in Canberra, Australia. The All creepy right. figure captured on film looks like a glowing amorphous blob with strange tentacles. At first, the figure shortly appears like it's blobbing down the. Can we agree that that's just a spider crawling on a web? on the ledge <coughs> right in front of the camera because the camera's trying to focus far away so the spider's gonna be out of focal range and it's gonna be blurry street but then ascends into the sky climbing through the air and then the clip ends do you have any idea what this alien like creature could be it's called a spider yeah Whatever it is, these creatures apparently have appeared in more places than one. Oh, yeah. Katie B writes in the comments, I am from Texas and have seen something similar here before, but have not caught it on camera. Apparently Texans don't know what a spider looks like. If it's on opposite sides of the world in Texas and Canberra, who knows where else it could be? They're coming for us. <laughs> the Number spiders five, are coming for us. Race. Yeah. When you're in a foot race with a ghost, you'll never win. Published by Werewolf Radar in March of 2021, a ghost was tracked across several home cameras in Ohio. Or was it? The ghost is this transparent figure seen streaking in the dark along the grass. It's not line. a transparent a ghost. It's just a dude on a crappy it security on its way camera. Beside the sidewalk until it's out of sight. Several videos of the mysterious figure were posted on the local Facebook group. According to reports, a caller phoned the police around 11 p.m., claiming to have seen a young girl sprinting around the neighborhood. Officers reported to the area and saw a child who fit the description. One officer is reported as saying, I was surprised by what I saw. The person appeared to be a small child running too quickly for a child. When he exited his vehicle and searched the area, the child was gone. In reviewing his dash cam footage later, he captured no one on camera. So what could be happening here? Is this a child? A fast running adult? Or a ghost? One thing's clear, it wasn't supposed to be seen. Number 4. Scene. Spirit turns the handle. This scary spirit isn't going to wait for a mere mortal to let him in. Published in That's July just of 2021. Kid. Margarita survived. I agree, right. children are scary. My kitchen cabinets are opening and closing with a sound. I hear someone talking and walking up and down the stairs, but as soon as I pull up a camera, it stops. But finally, I got it. So, what did she get? A girl is seen entering the kitchen. After a moment, the door behind her swings wide open, and it doesn't just pop open. The handle can be seen turning on its own before the door opens with nothing behind it. One no, of the girls calmly goes back sus. to close it, but I have a feeling this isn't the end of their poltergeist activity. It's only the beginning. Number three. <laughs> Why does he say that like that every time? It's only the beginning. Grudge girl has a grudge. Some dance parties end poorly. This was one of them. Published by Breakman in August of 2018, this haunted image has been gaining traction in the Spanish-speaking YouTube community. The scary image shows a group of girls dancing, clearly having fun and oblivious to the wallflower buzzkill behind them, who seems left out of the party. And for good reason. The creepy figure sitting on a bed beyond looks like the girl straight out of the grudge. Her long dark hair like curtains around her pale face. Okay, uh, nobody... <sighs> He didn't think, hey, maybe, ah, right, this is just a picture, right? No way, it's fake. We don't have things like Photoshop. We don't have things like 
Photoshop. You might refuse to do any of your homework after watching this mysterious clip published in September of 2021 by Mystery of the World. The scary video is home security footage filmed in Mexico. In the video, a girl is standing I'm at seeing a, small a pattern table here. doing her homework. It's a little past 8 it's p.m. It's the Mexicans. After a moment, some Kidding. papers on the table start blowing across it. At first, you might assume it's a breeze, but there doesn't appear to be a fan or any other wind source in the room. Oh, uh, you know why? Because you only see this much of the room. I'm pretty going. I'm the pretty girl sure is out of there, but returns there's a fan over there. Shortly, a few harder items are also heard being thrown to the floor. Then the mm. girl's entire pencil box falls beneath the table, and her pencils rattle from it. Mm. Next, the table moves all together, rattling to one side. The dude's just trying to organize. I'm pretty sure tables don't sound like that. What does the poltergeist want with this girl? Whatever it is, I think it's time this family found a different place to live because this place seems seriously haunted. I've got a challenge for you. Since you've made it this far, why not like this video and hit subscribe in the next five why seconds? Why not quit your job because in the I next five seconds? Videos. If you're curious about what I look like in real life, then Probably go to my looks Instagram like at Dylan is chillin YT and tap that follow button to find out. Oh, I'm actually curious what this dude looks like now. Let's figure it out. Why does he look strangely exactly how I pictured him? That's what this dude looks like, if you can see. That's Dylan. Dylan do be chillin'. Now this situation oh. is terrifying. Weird. This ring camera footage captured a crazy guy trying to get the woman inside to open the door. And his reasons are certainly disturbing. The stranger tells the woman inside that he just has a couple of questions for her. In fact, he tells her this repeatedly like a broken record saying, Are you sure? Are you sure? That's weird. I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions for you. The repeated nature of his script is one of the scariest parts of this video. He then continues to ring the bell and knock insistently while peering inside. Where he repeats his mantra asking, Are you sure? Are you positive? While continuing to leer in and knock. Are you sure? I, I just rang your doorbell because I have a couple questions. He even appears to try the doorknob at one point. Finally, he gives up and leaves the front step. As he's walking away, he looks to be holding a bag with something in it. When he reaches the sidewalk, the male homeowner speaks to him through the ring system asking who he is, and his answer is chilling. Although the man doesn't tell the homeowner who he is, That's he weird. calmly explains that he is looking for the girl in the house to open the door so he can take her life. The man then reasonably requests that her husband should encourage her to open the door. Why don't you just let us watch the video? A couple times and notes without prompt that he's armed. The crazy man leaves again, but as he's walking down the sidewalk, you can hear him say, Are you sure? Repeatedly, amongst a lot of other ramblings. Like, okay, I'm weirded out by the situation, but I think I'm just more frustrated that this dude, Dylan, won't let us just watch the original video without having to explain everything. Dylan, do us all a favor and shut up. So that's going to be it for this this video, folks. I don't have the effort or the energy to watch more videos at the moment. Um, but I want to thank you for watching and sticking with me if you're still watching at the moment. Um... Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Hopefully you're not too scared like myself. I got scared a couple times, but it's okay. I'm over it now. So thanks again for watching. Hope you enjoyed. And I will see all of y'all. Wait. Before we move on, if you're still watching, make sure to hit that subscribe button. Because I have not been uploading as much as I have in, in years prior. But I do want to work on that. At least in the coming half year before my life gets super busy and... <laughs> what not so i just want to re reiterate that uh subscribe 
yeah i like, couldn't care less if you like or dislike the video i mean i i let me rephrase that i care if you like the videos but i don't care if you click like or dislike on the videos it doesn't matter because apparently the dislike button is just irrelevant at this point but i'm not even showing the dislike count anymore because that's cool but anyways that's a rabbit trail for another time thanks again for watching i'll see all y'all in the next one stay frosty folks